session, a conference, a think tank conference, where, where I was able to meet with some senior citizens. These fans had to be at least 65, 70 years old, and they were there listening to the music. And now when I was talking to these these beautiful, God bless, senior citizens who told me, me, us, that we had a profound impact on their life. I had to be nothing but grateful and thankful for that new that we was doing something right. Even though it might contrast because we gotta talk about the negativity that goes on sometimes. We got to be real. We got to produce the reality of things. But that's not to be taken the wrong way. Because we are grown and grown up, you know, for a nice duration, going on 18 years now. So you know, our message is having that much more of an impact and a positive, positive impact on our, on, on our fans and those who have experience or coming into the newer Hall Ducks and Hall. That was very, very important for me to ask because um, I'm, I'm looking forward as we go forward with our relationship for Steinberg to be part of that messaging. Um, and, and a lot of songs out today, you know, they, you've got to have a message behind it. That being said, David Banner was uh, gracious enough to bring us some stems of one of the tracks that they recently done. And uh, I'm going to ask Greg to play some, some, some of that track. So I know uh, you guys want to want to do some walk walking around on the uh, floor, but if you give me a couple of minutes, want to see if anyone out here has any questions for Bone, Bone Thugs, uh, Dave Bannon, Andre Bell. Hey, what's up, homies? Um, Y'all last out Strength and Lords. I know the Swayze Beats produced the majority of that. Um, what was the difference between working with Swayze and like say DJ Unique, who was like one of my favorite producers. You know, he did East 99 Eternal. Um, he did, you know, the rest of the albums. Just what was the difference between the two? Man, it was a, um, it was like really a big difference. You know, like Squeeze really had to come in because you know, like Squeeze is from, I would say, like like the now generation. You know, like so it, it was really a. Um, it was really a transition for him to come in and just like learn our style and learn our way of recording. But I think he like really came in and caught in, caught caught on like really quick and really well, you know. And um, I mean it, it was pretty much the same. Like cause once we like built a relationship in the studio, I mean everything just started flowing. He, he, he studied our style a lot, and you know he just started coming with the music that he thought would fit us, and you know everything he came with was perfect. Well, I'd like to thank Bone Thugs Harmony, Flesh Bone, Crazy Bone, David Banson, Andre Bell. We're looking forward to bringing these guys more into the Steinberg family. Check them out March 30th. Their album drops and much, much more to come. Thanks, guys.